Ah! 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 What are you doing in my house? I'm at loss, okay? Do you like some alcohol? Always. You're going to need it. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the table of crap facing it this time. I've got a bird. It's a bottle opener. It goes that way. And today we're drinking because I brought a lovely Irish fellow along with me, isn't that right? Yes, and what do the Irish do? We like to drink. Yes, and sometimes the British like to have some of this alcohol that you talk of as well. At this point, I'd like to point out this isn't made for children, so if you're under the age of 18, this apple juice is fantastic, but you can't have it. You're going to need it, trust me. So, we've been to see lots of beautiful birds today, haven't we? And done some filming and loads of birds chasing them so around. So many birds. And I thought a really good way Why to end this... twice? Well, I, actually, I've still got the mark on my <laughs> yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got attacked by a hive in my core and it's still got the mark on my hand. Um, I thought a really nice way to end this day would be to play a nice classical game that some of my subscriber base might actually remember. Because I do seem to have quite a few older subscribers that the toys I look at are relevant to. Um, so yes, I thought that we would have a good old game of Snakes in the Grass. Now this is a game that seems to be very UK-centric. I'm from the country of Ireland. Where's Ireland? Lost. <laughs> Lost in the Atlantic <laughs> Sea somewhere. And this is a game I've literally never seen before. So this is going to be interesting to me. I used to love playing board games as a child, but this is a game I've never seen before. So this is going to be quite an interesting, an interesting experience, I will say. <laughs> um, but we, we did discuss before this, we do, we always have winners, but we always have losers. Yes, lots of losers! <laughs> oh wait, hang on. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think the point that Mr. Shep is making is that there may be a forfeit that could involve a bit of, oh dear. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I was going to uh, save exactly what it is. You know what it is, but you don't know what it is. But you do, do you don't. <laughs> does he know? Well, we, we, we have several options, and I don't know which option has been chosen. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so we're, we're filming more than one thing tonight. I've dragged him all the way down from where he is, so I'm going to get more than one video out of him. But let's focus on this. So, yes. Snakes in the Grass is a game that I had as a kid. I remember my dad brought it down with a copy of Twister, which is gone at this point. Uh, and it was a game that I used to play a lot. Uh, it's got literally on the side, if we look at it, it is your very stereotypical coming into atomic family, ending atomic family, They're playing this game that we obviously know father would never play because he's always away from home and mother's too busy having it off with the neighbour and Dorothy and Timothy hate each other so much that they're actually more likely to whip each other with the snakes. Well, no, I, I was thinking more that, you know, Timmy over here is he, he likes to go off into fields and burn things. And, you know, his sister likes to watch. How did you know about my family's past? <laughs> no, no, my no, past no. and his past. It was no. my brother that burned things. Anyway! Oh, anyway! So, a <laughs> story we, for a different day. <laughs> let's just take the lid off quickly. There's the game. We've got all the instructions on the back. But yes, we've got this family. This is uh, 1969. It's got me on here. It's Peter Pan Playthings. Uh, I can't really hey, Peter Pan Playthings. 1969. And there, actually, there is a price tag on here. So, but there it is. So its item number is A110, we don't know where it's from, but it was a pound and a half? Uh, uh, 11 pence? It was obviously pre-decimalisation. Quite possibly, although they did have a half decimal coin came in during the decimalisation. There are half pennies. Right. So it could they just be after. really mess with people. Let's say it's 11, 80 and a half. Mind you, it was 1969, so why is everything so complicated? Anyway, it, anyway. it, it, it cost that much monies, which I know you can read because it's focused on his face, so it won't show. And we've got all the instructions here, but to um, say the general gist of the instructions is you take these beautiful snakes and you get the beautiful eggs, or marbles, if you've lost the eggs like I did, and you, without dragging it along the floor, kind of have to pick it up like that. And then you do that because you're terrible at the game, and then you uh, pick it up again and drop it on your nest. And you collect five. I would say five of the same colour, but we haven't really. I don't think there's five of the same colour in. No, it doesn't. It does not appear to be in this in this set. You collect five, and when you've got five, you can increase your scorekeeper turnomatic, which is actually just a lump of plastic on the back, but it has numbers, so you can count who's won. So we're going to be doing a best of three in this, aren't we? Yes. It also makes a very nice rain hat. And these really got nice girls right up your nose. Have you ever considered frying one of those? I wonder what snake eggs taste like. I, I would not put that in your mouth. I, I definitely like, do I, not I could, put that in your mouth. That that looks. I, I could see hairs on this, and of, of at oh least two God. different animals. So this thing had been in when when I was a kid. This thing was in the attic for years. 
and then we were brought down so it was in my bedroom for years and then it went back into the attic when I moved out for years and then my dad said do you want this game and I remember it so I was like yeah I'll take it and it's lived underneath the stairs for years and I've had mice since then so don't yeah. put anything in your mouth but it comes with this nice little cardboard cut out Peter Pan Playthings Limited that you keep it in so it actually snakes in the grass now the snakes are rubbery they're actually all in one piece here they do have eyeballs which you probably won't be able to see right it's focused on his face so if I bring the eyeballs near his face maybe you see it uh, and the idea is you hold it here and you've got your skill ring. So let's say that you're like me and you're horrifically unskilled. You can put it there and you hold it as close to the ring as possible. So obviously if you've got it there, it's going to be a lot easier to use. So that's roughly how it works. But obviously as we are incredibly talented adults who have not been drinking much, we're going to be playing all the way at the top. I like the unity there. So... <laughs> Are you ready, Mr. Shell? Shall we add the balls? We add the balls. I mean the eggs, the eggs, the balls. Yes. I don't think it matters what colours you do pick up. We could make the last round maybe to try and get the right colours, because we might have five of a colour. Well, yeah, there's five there. There's five whites for certain. And we've got two extra snakes. So it has actually got all the snakes, it's just missing some of the balls. I wonder if there's anything... Eggs. Egg. No, I've never pulled that out. Unfortunately, sometimes with these old boxes, like um, remember the Palatoy, Light bright, you won't. It had somebody's name and information written in it from like December 25th. Uh, sometimes they do, but this one doesn't. It just has very rusty staples. <laughs> very rusty staples. So yes, let's um, let's treat this with all the respect it deserves. I kind of do enjoy it a lot. Of just just as one thing before we start. Yeah. In the box, it has like these little cutouts in inside the box that match up with the. What is it? The Turnomatic Scorekeeper, as you said earlier. Yeah. And they like they, they fit down quite nicely into those little grooves. To keep it in place. Yeah, so you can't beat you know beat your sister with it. I haven't got a sister. Well that's why. Well <laughs> don't tell them about that! Yeah. Or I'll whip you with the snake. <laughs> I'll whip you with the snake. So I think for this round we're just going for five, right? Yes. Now I'm just going to cheat and give myself three points. Actually, no, I'm already on three, so let me change it down to zero. I think you're set to zero, so. Set to zero, no, yeah. I, I am the blue snake, and you are the yellow snake. No, no, so no. I said, I think you, you can sort of do it like that, but that's yeah. boring. I think you've got to try and keep it up and sort of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now, of course, I am the world championship of uh, egg testing. I wonder if you're allowed to nick other people's eggs. <laughs> you think they're just like, oh, he's winning, quick steal of eggs. <laughs> That's because like that new game has come out. What was it? The um, flip off one or whatever it was. Flip off. Or what was it? What's the new one? The the battle royale. Four guys. Four guys. Yeah. Four guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just screw everybody over for fun. Yeah. Screw you, four guys. I hate you all. <laughs> right. Are you ready, Shep, to inevitably beat me? So I have to drink whatever horrific concoction we've got down there. Yes. I am looking forward to it. It's been in my cupboard for years. Right. On the count of zero, I guess three. Two, one, go! Oh. Yeah, this, ah. is, this is a game of skill. All of the skill involved in this. Oh no, I'm not as skilled as I thought I was. It's obvious which ones are the ones that are actually in the game, because yeah. they're smaller. Is that what she said? Uh, I don't know, did you ask her recently? Yeah. Oh god, this is actually kind of difficult, this last one. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't say that. Uh, yes! 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 Round one goes to me! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. And I'm just going to do a very satisfying thing. I killed all of the children. I'm okay with this. <laughs> so, round two is with your weak hand you have to do it now. So, with your left hand, though. For you, is it right? I'm right. Wait, I'm left handed. handed. I am left handed. Oh, Today me. we learned <laughs> on. Uh, on this channel. God, the Irish are weird. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go because I'm quite bad with my left hand. I'm it's... not too bad with my right hand, I'll be honest with you. But the only problem is, well, is we're right in score. here. I didn't add the score. You didn't add it at all. Okay, I, I'm saying countdown then. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Wunderbar, you started before the countdown. <laughs> yeah, but didn't mean I got one. <laughs> this is true. Oh no, I dropped it! That's fine, go away! That's fine too, go away! <laughs> I'm laughing too hard! Oh no, oh no! It is hard! It actually is, it's a lot more it skill! Is, it is a lot more difficult than you think! I do, I, I do like the idea of the, the handicap though in this, like you can like, you know, you have yeah. the... 
like, oh, you know, parents are gonna probably have better hand eye coordination. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's best of three, and you know what that means. Winner! But. Shall, shall we do the third one anyway? I think we should do the third one anyway. Do the third one. Sure. Then the third one is if you win this, you get to have a glass of water after the uh, horrific drink. We do have I mean, more alcohol on the fridge the, as well. Yeah, we, we do. We have quite a lot more alcohol on the fridge. <laughs> now, that was actually much closer than I thought. <laughs> right, round three. You can have a handicap this time. Yes, I'll go off a little bit here so I can get a little more. Okay, out. so. Round, round three, the final round. Unfortunately, I've won, so there's no spoilers here, but you know. Are you ready? Three! Oh, my snake's, snake's gone floppy. Yeah, I got rather floppy here, yeah, I just uh, I have a blue pill that you can take uh, 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 Three! Four! Two, one. one! Begin! It sounds like the kind of thing you'd have Kevin McLeod music running to. I just the last one down the side there. <laughs> Oh, it's a close one. Very close. I think you've got it. Yeah. Ah! I was. One. Look how close yeah. I was. Yeah. And actually, the last round finished a lot closer. But well, there we go. But, but then again, I gave myself a fairly, pretty decent handicap. So. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. That is the first time I have played snakes in the grass with anybody for about 20 years. Because to be honest, nobody played this with me when I was a kid. I think <laughs> I might have played it twice with people. So that was genuinely enjoyable. Yes. It, like, it was actually, can you imagine with four people going at it? Yes, this would actually be. Oh. Right. I'm definitely going to my one now. So. You know what we need to do at that convention we go to? We need to run an event called Drunk Board Games where we just get people really drunk and then do stuff like this. Yes. Except there's a health and safety issue with that. But I'm sure we can come to a conclusion that. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a risk assessment we have to do. So what, what am I ingesting? Oh, at least we've got a, a yeah. pleasant glass. Now, this, this glass is for me to try as well, because I'm actually kind of curious. So what we have well, here... You've got to get me to try it first, to make course. sure it's not poisonous. Now, what we have here is just a labelled up bottle of some kind of alcohol. Original wine, most scarab, cement, extra olive, aroni. I said that all wrong. There is actually a label on the back. This is... Uh, aroni from... Spa, which... We won't read that bit out. Uh, yeah. But we will say the country of our origin is from Italy. Italy. Cost C E M. So we don't know how much this actually costs. The date. Uh, the, so the date on this bottle of wine, which is corked. Well, it's not corked, but it has a cork on it. it. it yeah, we're going to count it as corked. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a twelfth of the first two thousand and fifteen. And we don't know if it, it's an, it's not a tank sample. Yeah. So this, um, I can't say exactly where I get this because I don't remember. It's been in my cupboard for years. But this was. Um, a sample that they give to supermarkets. So if, so if somebody, you know, I come along and say, hey, I've got vino de armpit I wish to sell you. Here is the sample for your tester. And uh, this is what they give them. So this is a test bottle. And I don't know if this is carbonated either. Right. So I'm guessing usually when they put these on it, it, it is. is. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to let you do that. And I'm going to sit here with a lot of glee. There is water right there. So you yeah, won the round. The water into you the won the round. So you do actually get the water. I got this mug when I was 16. 16th birthday I got given this mug. Oh, yeah, flipping mental. Yep. It was given to me by a girl called Christine. She was mad. <laughs> she flipping mental? Oh, yeah, she were. Right. So we're going to open this properly. So if this is carbon, we're going to open this properly. Carefully. I've opened these before. I have. And we don't know. That's the worst thing. It is actually carbonated. I can feel the pressure coming Ooh. back. It's going to pop. It's going to pop. <laughs> right. So it is. So this is quite well carbonated. So this is now yeah. more than five years old. It's retained it. It's retained it. We're going to end up drinking this, aren't we? We're going to end up drinking this properly. Right. So we're going to. I'm going to have to take a proper full mouthful of this. No, you, you don't. No, with, old, with old drinks, you only have to take a little bit. But well, you have to the, be only, the, the only good try. thing is, is that there's no, there's no sedimentation in, in the bottom. There's no right. bits in it. They're, 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 it's not a Russian drink. Right, so it oh, is. Oh, ooh, that's quite. That's, just sit that down. For that a is very. That's sort of quite well carbonated. What do you think it is? I'm guessing it's like some kind of. It's probably Prosecco from Italy. And that makes sense. So. But it has nothing about. Actually, I mean, this is fizzy water, children. This is fizzy water. This isn't alcohol. It's fizzy water. Like fizzy this. olive oil, <laughs> apparently, because there's extra olive in it, which I don't oh, goodness. I said this is mine because I haven't got another wine glass on hand. So let's give this a... It doesn't smell too bad. It's quite alcoholic. No, it, it smells fairly normal. I mean, you get to go first. So if it's horrible, we're known. Down the gullet. Oh. Okay, that was not a bad. That's not bad. It's so, actually, it's actually fairly palatable. 
So what you're saying is the forfeit wasn't actually a forfeit. No, unfortunately. But the only thing is, at least if there was a for, the, the forfeit was uh, pretty bad. Oh, yeah, that is actually quite the, nice. It is actually quite nice. I, I, I feel this is going to this is going to end our night. Yeah, we're going to drink this, aren't we? During yeah. the next video, we'll drink this. <laughs> yes. So I have seen I, ha I have seen the next forfeit for the next video. Oh God, yes, the next forfeit. The only you don't want to drink the next forfeit. No, I do not want to drink the next forfeit. No. Also, to our viewers. We must make note that the nearest bathroom is right where the camera is. <laughs> um, so if the camera falls over, <laughs> we do have this at least. We do a have charity bucket. A charity bucket. You know, I owned about 70 quid on the first event I ran at the convention using this yeah, bucket. Wow. Because it was a swear bucket, we threw about 30 quid, and loads of people just chucked money in whenever they swore. Anyway, this is getting a bit long winded and draggy now, but uh, it appears that the forfeit in this video was not a forfeit, and the next one that we're going to do, I will inevitably lose and will have to drink the horrific liquid, which, um, I don't know if this video will go out first. The one we're filming next is the 500 subscribers special. So uh, you might be watching this beforehand, but you might be watching this after. But if you're watching it before, he's in it. Sorry yeah. about that. If you're watching it after, I'm still in it. But it just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this completely random video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and I will see you next week. And when I go to visit him again, I'm sure we'll do some more completely redundant stuff because I really, really enjoy having this guy on. So bye bye, Pip. Have a nice existence. And wear a mask. Wear a fucking mask. <laughs> what he said.